Hello, Pisces. We have a connection here in separation, but it's coming back together because a truth is being voiced that you did not know about. Let's dig in to see where this goes. <music> Hello everyone, welcome in. This is a Pisces tarot reading. It is a general reading for July 4th through the 10th. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you guys for next week. Okay. White Duchess, number 15. Who else got this this week? Was it Scorpio? Sag? Hmm. This means a bit of a storm is hitting. Don't look to what has been to find your destiny. Your future is bright and blessed. If the pain of the past feels a little too close for comfort, White Duchess steps in to help you leave behind the emotional storms of your past and move into her protection. A time of transition is upon you, and soon your feet shall settle upon sacred ground and calm shall prevail inside and out. Okay, this is the clear guidance to not look back, to allow the past to rest, to keep moving forward okay sometimes when the white duchess comes up it is a signal that you do have a guide whether angel spirit ancestral etc um that is actually guiding you on the other side through the process okay let's see what sort of okay <laughs> hold your vision okay so sometimes in the eye of the storm, it feels like we're in the midst of chaos when chaos is actually happening for you. Which one? Okay. Um, chaos breaks everything apart in order to put things back in divine order. So when shit's hitting the fan, that's probably a good sign. Because otherwise, things wouldn't have been put in the proper order. Only spirit can really do that. And they do it for you. Okay. Let's see if I can shuffle worth a darn. Let's see what's going on for Pisces next week. Let's see. And during this chaotic process is the perfect time to manifest because it's like everything's getting break broken apart to get put back together in a new way. So if you hold your vision it will help manifest that thing that you want while things are reassembling, if you get my meaning. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Let's see. It feels a little turbulent, but manageable. Emotionally, anyway. <laughs> yep. The world on the bottom. Six of Cups. Three of Swords. Ace of Swords. Knight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Star, Card of Aquarius, Queen of Wands. Yeah, this is a connection that has ended before. Yep. Whoever ended this cycle, it took a lot of strength to end the cycle. Okay. So Pisces, I'm going to read this side is you, this side is your person, and this is a situation. This is a soulmate return. Whether it's a soulmate you've met in this life or not, it feels like it has because of the truth to be spoken here that looks like it was withheld before. Yeah, it doesn't feel new. It doesn't feel new. There it is. Six of Cups is a situation between you. Okay. The truth that they have to reveal to you is going, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna mess with you a bit. You may not trust it. You may sit on it for a bit. That's what the Knight of Pentacles is good at. He's good at not moving. <laughs> We're moving very, very slowly. 
Um, this was something that this Queen of Wands held back for a, for a minute. This truth is very healing, but it feels like it's also going to rock your world. This is a pathway that doesn't feel traditional. Like, I'm going to tell you this truth and it's going to clear everything. We're going to fall in love and happily ever after immediately. This feels like it's going to obliterate your foundation in your mind of what you have about love and relationship and that whole kind of thing. This, this is the storm. This is like when it gets all blown apart with this truth. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. I'll take it. Let's expand on the situation. The six of cups. What is going on with the six of cups, please? Queen of Pentacles, Death card of Scorpio, Two of Wands, Seven of Wands, Six of Wands, Nine of Wands. What are we doing here, guys? With the Fool on the bottom. Okay. Oh, someone's coming back to say they ended another thing and they're now single. And they want to. Well, well, yeah, they want. They want to get together. They ended a connection that they thought was their wish, and it looks like it was at one time, but seeing it clearly now, there there was a bit of a... Things changed. There was a toxicity element to it. Okay. But when this is... This is when this is... When this comes back together... There is a lot of push and pull in the two of yours conversation because it's like, hey, I broke up with this Queen of Pentacles. How about we start a new partnership and this person pushes you away and you're like, come on. And they're like, no. So it, it's it's this ebb and flow conversation. Okay. I th and I think when they word vomit this right here, it's going to throw you. Let's start with your side. Let's start with the three of swords, please. Ten of Wands, Judgment, Empress. Well, you're seeing them correctly. Leaving the King of Pentacles for the Empress. Okay. I feel like that this decision became a burden to take action, to choose something in this connection or regarding this connection because it finally became too heavy. It's kind of like when you hold a glass of water it's like, oh, that's not heavy. But if you just keep holding it and you never get to put it down, it gets heavy. It's the same thing, the same weight. It hasn't increased in weight. But it's heavy now. Because you've been carrying it for three hours, right? So then the choice happens to want to resurrect this thing. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Let's expand on the Knight of Pentacles. You're waiting for them to come back to you. Okay, you were thinking about coming forward. Like, how would you... But you didn't actually do the thing, it looks like. Okay. Like waiting for the Ace of Wands to come to you. Yeah, that, that's, not, that's not happening. The Star, Card of Aquarius. Let's expand on that, please. Justice, card of Libra, three of cups. It literally could be balancing up a friendship if this is a friendship soul bond kind of thing, or it could be apologizing for this being a third party. Can we start over? I'm sorry for the fear and confusion in the past. That's what that all that says. Card of Capricorn there at the end with the devil. Okay. So let's get in this Ace of Swords. Oh, yep. Tower, Queen of Swords. No mercy. No survivors. Okay. What is the truth behind the Ace of Swords, please? Okay. 
Okay. Seven of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Ace of Wands, Four of Wands, Empress, Card of Taurus, and Libra. So the truth is that they waited for you to basically get it together and bring them the Ace of Wands. You both have this. Okay. Starting to walk. Deep Soul Bond. Almost Twin Flame energy here too. There's something this feminine is working on. There's something that she's doing tied to whatever her medium is, whatever her craft is, her purpose, um, the thing that she's good at. There's something she's creating that has to do with expressing this situation. Like it could be a painting or a sculpture or a poem or a book or something, short story, something. That is about this. It's to help her purge. She could simply be journaling it where no one's ever going to see it. Or she could be making, working on something that's going to be a public spectacle. There's, there's gathering the courage to release this to in a public sphere. So she could be releasing it for sale. Like for, she could release a, book about this experience and it could be her first fictional work kind of thing in order to help her purge what happened because her heart was shattered and you find out by getting by seeing a copy of the book it's a rough example you see what i'm saying you see the painting or you see that whatever the thing is you see it it gets back to you somehow okay she it, this is part of something that's going to be whatever this medium is is going to be very lucrative for her she's going to generate a lot of abundance and stability from this on her own um this is also yeah she's going to create a name for herself in whatever this medium is if she hasn't already whether painting photography whatever it is she got the idea after leaving this situation and still like not able to fully heal okay four of pentacles let's expand on the four of pentacles that's crazy okay page of wands ten of pentacles seven of wands emperor knight of pentacles hmm she she's she's she may reject your page we've got emperor and empress now six of six of cups again someone's someone's realizing that they they walked they moved had to move away to their ten of cups move away from their ten of cups but in the future there's a chance to reconnect there again that's the six of cups it's almost like it's almost like when someone returns to a past person's life because they're now f famous for example like oh you have something to say now it it, it, it feels like that to them a little bit Okay, so that, that you, you may get curbed. Just heads up. Uh, Queen of Wands. Let's expand on the Queen of Wands, please. Two of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Yep. Eight of Pentacles. High Priestess. Pisces Energy. Four of Pentacles again. So she knows she should wait in responding to you because of how things went before. She's going to continue working on her stuff and kind of go over if she wants to speak with you or continue conversation with you. There is simultaneously the desire to balance up this connection for the two for she, she wants 
two things simultaneously. She does want to end this, and also she does want to heal it. There's like a spark of desire of um, something more. But um, since whatever thing that she created, she was able to heal more. So it's, it's going to be up to each individual person you're dealing with, cross watchers, um, of what it is they've been through and what it is that they want. Um, you can't come at this feminine with you throwing money around. That's not going to work for her. Um, she, she's making her own. She's making her own. And she's good to go. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to head over to the extended. I want to see what's going on with this Empress in her current energy. Uh, I want to see what's going on with her in the near future, as well as the final outcome of this connection in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from spirit about this connection at this point in time, messages from this empress about this connection at this point in time as well as timing feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below and i'll see you guys over there bye Ooh.